this is the energy vibration reading for um, uh, the Sagittarian Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the week of Thanksgiving, and I am reminding you to donate to. Um, yeah, my hair is like all over the place. Donate to um, the uh, Power Outreach program because that's what I am supporting for this Thanksgiving. Wonderful. Thank you, you Sagittarians. And I want to say to each and everyone, I'm shouting out to all the people in Ireland and uh, um, I'm shouting out to all the people in Ireland and um, um, Scotland and that sort of a thing. Thank you for supporting my channel. Um, I always forget to shout out to you guys, but I'm shouting out again. Okay, I I don't know what happened. Um, it's as if I did these videos. Um, I did this reading already, and now I have to do it over again. Whatever the reason, I remember to shout out to you people in Scotland and Ireland. So, all right, let's go and see because whatever is happening, obviously there is good situation that is about to happen for you guys because this week is the fourth week of. November 2017 and this week is going to be the changing of the guards for a lot of stuff and ending of relationships and if you are having a relationship with someone who is between the ages of 35 and 40 that sort of an age group if you are having an affair with someone um, walk away from them. just walk away from it okay um, this week is a week of emotional but some is good emotion, some is not so good emotion. Okay, you have these two energy, which is good. The number eight energy, 88, is going to be a very positive energy for you guys. So you have the energy of number eight, the eight in reverse, the energy of uh, um, the eight of swords in reverse. So you're seeing things clearly. So whatever that has been going on, whatever has been transpiring, now you're seeing the truth of a situation and um, whatever it is, walk away from it, okay? Because you are going to find out that people are going to stab you in the back, people are lying, that sort of a thing. Um, there is like a whole set of people who are working against you and even people that you're sleeping with, whether you're having marital affairs or that sort of a thing is really working against you. So be aware of this because it's going to be a week that you're going to think, damn. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's look. Whatever conflicts on Monday whatever conflicts that was going on you are going to win this conflicts and bring it to an end so whatever that was going on you're going to win this conflicts and bring it to an end because whoever has been lying and playing you um this all is going to come out because it's as if this week for you sagittarians everything that was hidden from you is going to come out so all the people who were lying and deceiving you um, it's going to come out and I'm saying this because there is a, a overwinning of a conflict a very big win from a conflict and this is good okay I did this video already and only to find out that someone was um, sitting there so anyway um, it is the same message that is coming out and you know I'm telling you people whatever is happening and people are trying to block you and this sort of a thing it will never happen once the universal angels and guides step in okay so on Tuesday we have the energy vibration of a fire energy and it is a two of ones in reverse you're going to realize that someone at your work has stabbed you in the back for some people you're not going to get a promotion that you were supposed to get and for some people um, you're going to find out that someone has lied but now um, the truth came out and they're not looking that pretty okay Remember what I said to you, no matter what it is, um, if there's a promotion and something that you were supposed to receive and you don't receive it, it wasn't for you in the beginning. Trust me, there is something better that is coming up. And I've seen this really, really work the last time that when you don't receive something. Okay, so 
I asked exactly what was that all about um, what happened up your work it can be up your work it can be in different scenarios maybe you are supposed to get something and someone lie and this was a connection with either a love connection um, between two people um, something that was very sacred something that was very good and someone who has been listening to people telephone and that sort of a thing and bringing mischief and news it's as if someone um, whoever you have won the conflict for has come between you and this sacred love relationship okay and what is going to happen is as if you are having a relationship with someone some people are having a marital affair or something like that and whoever you have won against went and um, behave and being mischievous between you and someone you and this person who you have been seeing and this relationship would have been a very good relationship but you know um, leave it alone because if this person was being honest and this person because I think whenever two people share a bed together and this is my personal opinion it doesn't have to be the opinion of everyone and someone comes to you and try to sell you information or give you information I would think the first foremost thing you're going to do is go and said look I don't need to have any information from you I if you know or you listen to the information and said you know I'm going to the source of this information so I would say to you whoever this person is that you are in a relationship and someone came and said and told them something and they didn't have the guts to face you and ask you about it this is not the friend get rid of this person and no matter how good the sex is trust me this person is not supposed to be trusted send them home to their wives because I know this came up like for water sign people don't have anything to do with them because if they can listen to someone else over who you as a person that they share so many things because when people share their bed they're not aware of how much they're sharing and if they can sit and listen to someone else, uh, um, you know, giving information, that sort of a thing. So be aware of who are these people and look in your life. Who is it that you're having um, a relationship with? And this is a relationship. It can be also affecting you at work that you have a very good friend and you're always talking, you're always, and you're always going out with them and you're always doing stuff with them. And they know things about you and they're not saying anything and they know that people are trying to do or speaking about you and they won't tell you get rid of this person out of your life okay you really don't need people like this out of your life because number one if someone is going to come to me and tell me something about one of my friends I'm going to listen and said okay all right I really don't know anything you know the best thing to do is to ask the person but if you are going to stand there and listen, because I realize that people um, get really involved whenever other people try to um, sell them something that they want, they will sell out anyone. So be aware of this because a lot of people, not a lot of people know what is friendship. Okay, and friendship is very important. Who is the person? that is going to sell you out it is the knight of cups who is the knight of cups this can be a cancer a pisces of a scorpion and i'm feeling a cancer why because pisces people are very they will never do that pisces people you know they're coming to you and they let you know, know what this person was doing and they will listen to you but if it is the you know someone who they really love and care about and i'm seeing a cancer doing this cancers can sell you out at any any time once there is something that they're going to gain and something that they want they will sell you out at any time do not worry about the situation let this person go trust me he's not that important because you know it is um, someone who is having a relationship uh, a marital relationship and this person whoever he is I'm feeling a cancer it can be a scorpions but scorpions and Pisces are different especially when if, if it's someone they're sleeping with and someone who they really care about no they're not going to sit and listen but the cancers can sell you out at any moment I've seen this happen um, before and uh, 
um, trust me, they will sell you out. And this cancer person is going to um, listen to someone else and not tell you what is going on. And you're going to realize this because somehow you're going to, because you have a feeling about this person. It's like there is something, but you can't really figure this person out in a way, but you're going to see that they're really, um, and you're not going to be worried. You know, it's not going to be as if, oh, this is a surprise. I didn't expect this person. It's, it's like, okay, so it happened because I never trust you anyway. <laughs> so it's good. Uh, you know, trust me, you're a fire sign. You can go on. So here you are. You found out about it and you're like, ha ha, finally, whatever. Um, maybe the sex was good. The sex was good, but there is always someone even better. And, um, I think for a lot of people, you have been thinking about walking away from this person because the eights of cups is here and you're turning your back on something. So it could be this this cancer person that you were having an affair or a relationship with or something, but you thought, you know, there's something not matching up with you. I am not really trusting you. So let me enjoy what is going on. And then, you know, that's it. It doesn't really matter. So you have been thinking for quite some time to let this person go. And finally, you're going to do it. You're going to decide you don't work my energy anymore. Um, you're not that interested anymore. So maybe you thought that you were what, but you know, you're not that interested anymore and you are going to leave this person behind and, you know, leave, it's a sucker, you know, leave this person behind. Cause you know something, if he is in a relationship and is cheating with you, um, it's always a cheater. Once a cheater is always a cheater. Trust me, people. Once a cheater is always a cheater. And for somehow you haven't been believing this person. This person is always coming up with stories and stories and stories and that sort of a thing. And you're thinking, okay, let me see how you're going to go with this. And you have been thinking for quite some time to, you know, leave this person behind because you realize that he or she is not giving you what you're looking for. Is not, uh, um, you know, it's not someone that you would see with the rest of your life. So you think, you know, whatever, I have fun with you. You know, I do whatever with you, but you know, you're not the person I'm looking for. And it, you know, maybe this person is not interested enough for you to take home to your family. And you know, it was fun and that sort of a thing. And, um, this person, you know, is, you know, um, I think karma is coming around for this person because whatever happened is that he's a cheater and he is a player and he was trying to cheat you and play you, but you were on top of the game because you realize him and you're seeing him and you have been seeing him and just not saying anything. And you have been planning a way how you're going to end this because it's not something that is really interested. It's not something that you want to spend the rest of your life with. It's not someone who you would be comfortable going out with. It's not someone who can have a normal, proper, um, you know, um, conversation. So, you know, this person is, you know, sometimes people come in your life and it is a time of the sexual re revolution that is coming back again. And, Sometimes I think this person you met in a time where, you know, you're thinking, you know, whatever, you know, I'm not really interested in anyone. So, you know, you're clean enough or whatever it is. So, um, you always thought it thought, you know, it's not the person I'm looking for, but yet still, you know, let me, um, talk to this person. So you're going to decide to end this and end it because it's a sucker. Trust me. Whether he or she, it's a sucker. <laughs> so you walk away on Thursday. You decided, whoa, I'm free. I walk away. I decided to let this thing go. I walk away from this. This is good because I'm going to focus now on building my empire. And this is good because it is not someone that you could have built your empire with. It's, it's not someone who could have, um, you know, help you in any 
for mentally or physical or whatever and even if you're not looking for help it's not someone who would have um support you in what you or you know um looking dreaming um working towards you know so you know sometimes people connect with other people just for sex and that sort of a thing and i can i can you know i I can understand because I don't judge people for who they are or whatever you do. But at some stage you realize that, yeah, this, this, this is not what I'm looking for. So, you know, bye. Cause I am going, I, you know, I'm going to spend my time to, um, get my life back on track and that sort of a thing and, you know, get my, um, financial world in balance. So, you know, you're not missing anything. You're just, you know, I really wanted to hand this. So, um, you know, that's what you're doing on Friday. You have the energy vibration with the, um, the queen and it's, she's supposed to be in reverse because I'm doing over these region. She was in reverse and, um, um, whoever this person is, whether it's your mom or your sister, your brother, your sister or a civilian, it can, or, you know, whatever it is, have balance with this person. It could be a girlfriend and that sort of a thing. Have, you know, balance the situation, whatever is going on and understand that. Um, mm, understand that sometimes people are at a stage in their life and a point in their life that they're, you know, whatever is going on, you know, they want to just be. So, um, whoever she is um and whatever transpire with um you leaving behind um that person that cancer who you had um whether a love relationship or whatever it was for some of you you're feeling yeah i you know wanted to connect with someone and that was it but it wasn't the right person so um, I have no emotional connection, so bye, you know, that sort of a thing. And the person who got involved and who it is someone who is a, um, Aquarian, Gemini or Libra for some people it's going to be Aquarian for some people is a Gemini and for some people is a Libra, but don't worry about whatever happened because new love is coming in. There is someone who is uh, the Knight of Cups. Someone is coming in and he's bringing, um, you know, message of love. So whoever this person, so you're leaving one cups person for another cups person. And it could be you're leaving a cancer for a Pisces or a Scorpio because I'm feeling that the cancers are the one because you know, when, um, the Pisces and the Scorpion loves you, it doesn't really matter what you say about their partner. They are not going to go against their partner. They will listen, but they're going back and they're saying to their partner, look, I met so and such a person and, um, they say this, this, that, 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 you know, but the cancers, especially when that person is going to, um, uh, when, especially when that person is going to have something to give them, it's like you're rubbing butter on a cat mouth because nothing a cat likes but butter or milk. And this Aquarian person, Aquarian, Libra, or Gemini person, catch him and rub some milk and butter and he let you go like the thing there. So, um, and you know, don't worry about it because whoever that person was, um, it's sad, but people are like that. So we need to understand and whoever and whatever they have planned to give him, he's going to realize that the same thing they have done to you, they are going to do to him. Okay. Cause trust me, karma goes around like so quickly the last time. So, um, again, whatever the situation is of was the ace of cups, um, you need to understand that whoever this person is, is just the loser. Someone new is coming in someone with a more refined and much better for you. So leave that behind. We have the six, the six of coins in reverse. 
not to worry about this because a new start is coming in so whatever uh, the situation is and situation was why the six of coin is now in reverse there is a new start or a new um, situation that is going to come in for you and this is good okay as we move forward there is a conflicts but there comes a new beginning whatever the conflicts was there is going to come a new beginning and I'm saying um, to you guys do not go back to that um, cancer who betray you okay because it's a form of betray whether or not you want to see it as that is a form of betray because if you're having a relationship or if that person is your friend and someone is going to connect with them and, and tell them something about you and they can just walk away from that situation or don't even come back to say you know um, do you know so and such because they say so and so so and so then you know where you are with that person and you know um, whatever he does to his wife he would have done the same thing to you so it was better for you to move on because these people are like rolling stone okay because people who cheats on in their relationship and people who um, have extra marriage you know if you're in a relationship and you're see someone else it is totally different because you have not take the vow and marry someone there is a difference people okay so if you're in a relationship and you're not married to that person it's a totally different thing if you see someone out of that relationship because you're missing something in your relationship or because your partner isn't there but if someone marries and take the vow and in the church or you know so focus on their relationship and their tinder and then they're cheating it's just an asshole I'm sorry but it's just true okay so um, this person um, whatever because um, he's like a cat you know he's like a cat that he loves milk and he loves butter and you know somebody um, put milk and butter on his lips and there he goes that is not someone that you need to have in your life so um, ladies and gentlemen out there whoever you have been dealing with this cancer person who um, kind of you know it's it's a form of not really betray I think this person just show you because um, some of you um, 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 Sagittarians are very very smart people sometimes you feel things you feel that someone is not vibrating on certain things you feel that someone and even though they're trying to tell you something your your intuition is saying mm -mm, and you can listen to them and think yeah whatever and your intuition is saying no don't don't no 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 you know because whatever they're saying doesn't add up I always listen to people whatever they're saying don't add up and I know you're just bullshitting yourself and I have no time to spend with you and this is exactly what is going to happen with this person so you know let him be because if he was a friend if he was a true friend and I'm, I'm, I'm saying this to you people because true friends whatever happen someone come to um, to you about a friend of yours it is better to go to the person and let the person or say listen I don't really want to know anything you know um, it's it's not my thing and um, I know this person so let it go because connect with the cosmic heart the cosmic Christ the cosmic art and the cosmic Christ whatever is going to happen in this week ladies and gentlemen if you need to release something out of your life release the person or the thing because obviously it was not good enough for you so the universe came in to show you that this person is not um, the right person to be in your energy vibration or you know so let it go let it go because they don't worth your friendship connect with a cosmic heart connect with who you are as a true spiritual being connect with yourself because you're a much better 
person than um, this cancer whoever that wanted to play you in in whatever way let him go because he's gonna fall on his own swords okay and sometimes these things takes uh, a long time sometimes they come very very quickly so whatever people gives out they always get back so ladies and gentlemen have a wonderful week and remember um, whatever happened clear up whatever it is move on you you know just um, release yourself from certain people who um, do not uh, um, deserve your friendship or whatsoever and sometimes we do know sometimes we do see it we do know we um, sometimes we do see it and we do know and we try not to um, to avoid it I want to say I'm sorry I was doing my hair but I hate when my hair is frozen. <laughs> I want to say no matter what is happening out there let go of whoever needs to leave your life namaste have a wonderful Thanksgiving